God to do something amazing on today. Not just because it's our founder's birthday, because that's just what I look for God to do. Amen. Amen. I expect for him to do it. Guess what? That's the expectation that he wants us to have. If you can do it for yourself, then why do you need God? I serve God because I need him to do what I can't do. I need him to do what you said I couldn't do. I need him to do what the devil thought I would never be able to do. I need him to do what man said is impossible. That's why I serve God. That's why I serve him. At this time, we're getting ready to move on into this service. Amen. Would you put your hands together and clap as they come under the direction of Missionary Joseph? Sister Liv.
Come on, say, in all the earth, he is excellent. Come on, put your hands together again for this new choir. Hey, man, we hope you feel real well.
Sometimes I'm 
spirits and a move of God. That's all it is. It's just another move of God. Hallelujah. Our services have no order. Because our service are under the control of the Holy Ghost. Come on, I said the Holy Ghost is in control of this service. Ah, that's why we sing. That's why we dance. That's why we shout. Because it is the Holy Ghost power. Thank you, Jesus. And I wouldn't want to be a part of some place. And there's not a move of God. But when there's a move of God, you have the liberty to clap your hands, to stop your feet, to do your dance, to throw your head back in the hollow every time. over to me and he asked me did I want to go ahead and expedite the offering listen I know when the spirit is moving into somebody else and just because I'm pastor amen does not mean that I'm not subject to the leading amen and the power of the Holy Ghost the anointing of God is upon you and if you adhere to what he had said today that seed that you had sown today. You have given as you have given unto God. And I guarantee you the blessing. Ah, somebody say blessings are on the way. Somebody say blessings are on the way. My miracles are on the way. My deliverance is on the way. My breakthrough is on the way. Damn the pain.
went to the prison to do their morning worship at 7 a.m. And the, um, generally when I get there, I go inside and open up the sanctuary and do all of the things that to set up for the service. Then I make my call for them to send them in. And, and so it was, it was kind of, uh, it was a late call because I sat there and I waited for a while and only one class came and, and I know it's a lot more from that area that would come because we're in competition at that time with yard call. So you can know, imagine Jim calling yard call in church, which many of them might choose. And we sit there for a while, and I told him, I said, let's go ahead and start service. And out of the while, it seemed like the floodgate opened, they all came in. And sitting at the end of the service, I made an altar appeal. One man came up that was a murderer, came up and gave his life to God. Two other men came up. And so there was another class, another a church ministry across from me. And at the end, after we lock everything up, and I walked out, and they walked up to me, and they greeted me, and they said, how you doing? I said, good to see you again. I said, it's so good to see you. They said, man, they said, those guys must really like your preaching because we only had a few. He said, how many did you have this morning? And I looked at him, and I said, well, you know. <laughs> I said, I didn't, you know, I really didn't count. I just threw a number out there. He said, boy, he said, they must really like your preaching because every time we come here, you're here with you. You always have a crowd. Jesus is just real. Yes. He's just real today. And I want to speak something into your heart today because I believe there's nobody in this room today, there's not one of you in here today that don't have a purpose on your life. There's not one of you that God had no intention of you being successful. Not one of you. That's not one of you that God created in his own image, that, and he desired you to be as he is. Amen? To operate and to function in the spirit as he does. There's not one person that God made and allowed to live to see this day that he didn't a desire for you to reach your full potential and to do his work, and to give glory to his name. Not one of you here today that God does not care about. Not one person today. So I, I, I want to I encourage you today because I believe God, he's a miracle worker. God still works miracles. If you will go with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. We'll begin reading at that first verse. Hebrews 11. When you get a shout, amen. amen. Well, I bet I didn't get too many amen, so I better wait a second. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. You got a shout, amen. amen. All right. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders obtain a good report. Through, it said, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. I'm going to stop there. God bless his word. It's already blessed. I want to talk to you today on the simplicity of faith. The simplicity of faith. It doesn't take a faith as we would call it to be supernatural. God has given every man a measure of faith. We live by faith and we function in some area of faith every day. Now faith is the substance, it's the main ingredients of that which we hope for and it's the proof, the evidence of things that we don't see. Faith is what will take us from here to glory. And the word of God tells us in that sixth verse, it said, but without faith, it is impossible to please God, to please him. For he that cometh to him must believe that he is in that, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. 
by faith, somebody say by faith, by faith. Noah being warned of God of things not what? Seen yet moved with what? Fear. Noah in his day that God spoke to him and told him he was going to send rain and that rain would flood the earth and God going to wipe away all living things from the earth. Nor being warned not seeing a sign of rain, yet moved in haste. Didn't doubt God, didn't question God, didn't ask for a sign, but he moved at the word of God. Faith is a word of action. The Bible tells us in the book of James, chapter 1, without faith, amen, somebody say amen, amen. that faith without works is what? Faith without works is dead. You cannot believe God without doing something in conjunction with faith. Faith is something that will keep you when other things fail in your life. Faith will keep your sanity when it seems like everything else around you is crazy. Faith will cause you to get up out of your bed in the morning, in the wee morning of the, in the wee hour of the night, strategizing because you're looking for a move of God and you're standing on the promises of God even though it seems like the ship is about to sink yet you have trust knowing that God is going to work it out because he's not man that he shall lie. Somebody say amen. amen. God's word. See simplicity simple faith. Amen. It doesn't take you to be superman. It does, you don't have to have a master degree to believe God. Amen. You don't have to be in good standing with man to move God. But anytime Jesus healed a man, faith was always present. The Bible said that in his own town, he can only heal a few because of their unbelief. We come to church Sunday after Sunday and we look for a good show. But where is your faith in God? Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Faith is like going to the gym, working out. Yeah. Building and rebuilding a body mass. Right. You can't do anything just by sitting there and not working out. You got to put something, you got to fly something to make something work. I literally seen people standing, sitting in the gym, just occupying the space. On the phone, talking. The whole time. Wow. And every now and then they move that leg, you know, on the sickle there. They move the leg just a little bit. And they sit right there. And all of a sudden they get up after 10 minutes later. And they move to something else. And they do the same thing. And then they have the audacity to get on the scale. Somebody say amen. amen. What happened? Nothing happened because you didn't do anything. Love flows because God is in control. A church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Word Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. Sunday evening Pentecostal service, 7 p.m. Midweek service, Thursday, 7